But yeah, so I was I was talking earlier, like a uh, Halo movie, right? Let's say they popped up and uh, magically had, not magically, but they announced a Halo movie. I'd be all over it. But if it said, you know, written by blah, 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 or directed or whatever, and it had lost as a credit. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, uh, I'll watch that. I will watch that on DVD. Um, or some type of digital download option. What was someone in a dress doing down here? Two people in a dress. Military base. They shouldn't have been down here at all. Pump regulator. There you go. Okay. Um Like Star Trek is another one. Uh, I went to the theater for both of the the reboot Star Trek films. That support Trek. Um I wish that Paramount and CBS supported its fan base better. I support Orville as well. It's, uh... It is what it is, I suppose. But yeah, the same thing. If a Star Trek movie featured a director or writer or whoever from Lost, that's it. Okay, well, uh... If you're proud enough to put that in your tagline, I'm not going to watch it in the theater. Ah, does that one stay on? Like mine? Probably not. What else can I do? My confessor's word is the word of Adam. Remember that. Let's see. Assist the Grand Zealot. That's, uh... That's the guy inside, but if he's already a clone, I can't assist him, can I? Okay, we'll go find this heretic. So yeah, that's how strongly I feel about the ending of Lost. <laughs> and, of course, how strongly I feel about going to movie theaters. It's, it's like the same... Uh, I feel the same about going to Walmart. Like, I hate going to Walmart at certain hours. On certain days... You know, it, and it's partially Walmart's fault, and it's partially the customer's fault. Which one is closer? Eh, dead ahead, kind of. Like, in Walmart one day, I, uh, I was just popping in to grab, I don't know, 
I don't know, some random miscellaneous thing. Let's say light bulbs. I don't remember, to be honest. But I was jumping in to grab one thing. And, of course, it was, you know, way in the back corner of the... And then I had to shoot a Yawgwai. Right in the face. Um, and I was just walking, you know, down the aisles, basically. And it was one of the side aisles, not the main huge aisles. There were these two, two other customers talking to each other. And their carts were facing opposite directions. So they obviously, A, knew each other. And B, stopped to chat. Which I don't give. I don't give a crap. I don't care if you stop to chat with someone you know when you see them out in public. The problem was is that they're talking face to face and their carts are angled where they're covering the entire scraps. The entire uh, mm -hmm. aisle. Sign or banner. It looks like some pieces are missing. They're covering the entire aisle, you know. And that's not cool. Now, instead of, because they were, they were talking, they, they weren't just standing there staring at each other. They were speaking words actively. Uh, two females, and they were just going back and forth. I, I didn't pay attention. I didn't care what they were talking about. I just wanted to get through and get whatever I needed at the opposite end of the aisle. And I didn't want to stop and inconvenience myself. And I didn't really think about it. But I didn't want to, like, say say anything and interrupt their, you know, inconvenience them by interrupting their conversation. And right between them, there was enough space, because I'm not a huge guy, you know. There's enough space to walk through. And I was like, cool. So I stepped through. Wakatok Station? She must be staying at a campground. At least the directions are clear. So yeah, I stepped through between them. I didn't touch either one of them. I'm thin enough to wear profile. I just stepped through. Um, I mean, they, they, I guess, naturally stepped back half a step because, you know, someone was suddenly between them. But, I mean, it, it it's not a deal to me. If I'm standing somewhere like that and someone walks in front of me, it doesn't even, it's not even a second thought, you know, it, it doesn't interrupt my train of thought. It doesn't interrupt my... It's happened thousands of times. My job kind of requires it. It doesn't interrupt what I'm talking about. Sometimes it distracts the other person, though, that I'm talking to. Uh, typically, my customers, you know, they don't they do not do what I do. <laughs> so, yeah. But to me, you know, it's, it's something you just kind of normally do. And, uh... As I, I mean, a full, like, I don't know, time passed. Like, I was a good probably ten feet away from them when finally one of them says, Well, excuse me. And, like, it, it I was agitated anyway, because A, I'm at Walmart. I, I, this is, like, why I don't go. And B, it's like, you know, it, it, it was irritating that they got an attitude because they were in the way. So I turned around and said, oh, I'm sure you didn't realize that you were blocking the entire aisle. So it's not a problem. You don't have to excuse yourself or apologize. And they just stared at me blankly with their mouths gaping like, uh, uh, what? And it's like, there you go. They didn't say any. They didn't say what? They didn't say anything. They just stood there staring it's like, yeah, did you not realize that you were blocking the entire aisle? That's why I got so close to you? And I didn't want to stop. I mean, just like everyone that 
blows red lights and crap all the time. I don't want to stop. I'm in a hurry. But in this case, it's not a red light. In this case, it was you blocking the aisle. And I've, I've seen these same people, like, you know, you know, well, not the same people. Um, I've seen, I've seen other people just like, hey, uh, you want to talk about this later or on your own time or something? I have to pick up the burnt books to even get near the wonder glue. surrounded by endless depths a vast emptiness that dwells within us all it only reaffirmed what I'd felt all this time the truth the confessor wanted no one to hear the lie that is Adam it's not real we aren't all infinite worlds Just empty space dead cold that we are nothing Professor won't be pleased by my messages. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to start moving things to the old church by the West Access Road in case... In case they decide to join me. I... I just hope I'm not too late to save them from Adam's lies. So yeah, it's attitudes like that is why I don't go to Walmart. And it's the parking situation. People do the same thing when they park. And they drive 50 miles an hour through the parking lot. It's not because, you know, hey, they're a big corporate conglomerate, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's not one of my concerns. I knock out the little guy. Not that I've noticed. I shop little guys a lot. Mainly because they have small parking lots and their customers aren't assholes. If they are, the own, own, owner will typically tell them for you. It's like, hey, why don't you not block that aisle over there? Oh, you're a galloper, huh? See if you gallop with four bullets in the foot. Nope. I didn't want to do that. Did that work out for you? Jesus. You've betrayed Adam with your lies and heretical messages. Not long ago, I would have said the same. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. No I have seen it with my own eyes. 
a void so vast and empty. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must, and so much. You saw something you didn't understand, and it scared you. No. I... I know what I saw. Yes, I was afraid. But not for myself. I was afraid that my brothers and sisters were living a lie. And that's why I left. Leave the island, or return to the nuclear. Nope. If you stay here, you're as good as dead. You need to leave this island and never come back. Hmm. There's wisdom in your words. If I cannot save the children of Adam from their blindness, perhaps I can spread the word elsewhere. Yes. Nothing's will becomes more clear to me now. I must spread the message to all who will hear, no matter how far the journey. You should tell Richter and the others that I'm dead. Thank you for opening my eye. There you go. And like most of us see this children of Adam and blah 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 and the nothing. It's like, oh, this is crazy. The sad thing is that would happen. People are nut jobs. Nice. You can literally tell someone the exact reason why something happens. And they argue with you. Oh, that's not true because of blah. You know, and if it's like, you know, the reason why you, you know, you, you put gasoline on a fire to put it out is because it puts it out quicker. And they say, that's, that's not true because I burn gasoline. Gasoline is for fires, not for stopping fires. There you go, but that's not the ex the case. It's like you tell them if you put water on a fire, it goes out, and they say that's not true. I do it all the time, like when I'm cooking. I I I cook underneath running water in the shower with with a gas burning, you know, uh, propane stove. What you you do what now? And it's not those words they use, but. The things they say are ex that. It's the exact same thing. You tell an engineer that, uh, you know, the internet has always not been plugged into electricity because it's wireless. And that's not a meme, people. Well, it is a meme. Show the children of Adam the truth. But it's not only a meme. It's a meme because it actually happens. I have personally been told that to my face. Why are you installing a line? This is supposed to be wireless internet. Where do you think this wireless internet comes from? It comes from a wire. A wired device. Quiet, I'm hunting Death Claw. I'm hunting death claw legs. The legs of a death claw. Main road.
Okay, on my monitor over there, that's actually not too dark, so... I guess I can live with it. I can see it pretty good. Oh, my... On my TV, it's actually darker. Did the tree get deleted? There's a good one. Oh, no, I can get it. Yeah, what happened to the tree for this one? Weird. Radiation, not much. A little bit. So, update on my channel, I guess. Uh, I don't really officially do these yet, so I'll just toss it in here. I want to stop complaining about people and Walmart and customers and all that. Um, channel update. I am still around 320 subscribers. Uh, the weird thing is, not the weird thing, I guess I kind of expected it, or at least knew that it could happen. Uh, daily, I lose and gain a subscriber. And it's from different uh, sources. Like, I'll lose a subscriber from the subscriptions tab that you can look at, or not a tab really, but subscriptions manager, I think it's called. And then I'll gain one on a video or something. And unless I specifically find... A normal open tab or analytic page. But... Uh, like one day it was three, I think. I lost three and gained four. So I'm floating still right around 320, but I'm, I'm uh, perfectly okay with it. Uh, because... Uh, that means that, you know, Did you hear that? people that were subscribed to me for uh, my previous primary content, which was just FaceTime rant videos or how-to videos and stuff, that now they're subscribing, like, th those are leaving, and the new people that are subscribing are doing it for this type of video. You got a question? Okay. And, yeah, uh, so that's, uh, I guess that's a good sign. It would be nice if if they actually, you know, watched the video before they left because I still as as this this is I still rant and rave. I still talk about uh things that upset me. I just do it while I'm playing a video game like like Leafy is here. Holy Adam. Thank you. Except like I'm playing the game. I'm, I'm, I bet you Leafy is here doesn't play his games. If he does, he's not doing it while he's talking. I clicked. Sister Gwyneth. I clicked. There we go. Troubling you any longer? She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, sister. Glory to Adam. Here. Take this. It's not just a weapon. It's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. There's no way they would just randomly give a new person. It's like, here's one of our artifacts. Because you went and said you did something. I'm only doing these to get more quests completed, quote-unquote. Since I'm right here, let's go in here and see if the Grand Zealot will give me a quest. I doubt it because we replaced him with the set.
And we're at 50 minutes, so this is where we're going to end the episode, too. Oh, that is... That was the quest. I got you. That was the Grand Z That wasn't the Grand Z lot. I guess indirectly it was the Grand Z. Ah, they did that so that you could uh, actually complete what Adam requires if you replaced him with a synth before. I <laughs> got you. All right, then we're going to exit the submarine. Say good afternoon, good evening, and good night if you've been with me this long. Oh, that is a Grand Z lot. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye now.